Right, um, I just thought I'd make a quick video and this time I want to make it quick. Um, I've just thrown on some dirty clothes because I've got nothing else to put on. Um, I'm literally crying out. <sighs> yeah, the title of this video will say exactly blunt. Someone please help me. Um, <sighs> yeah, so yesterday um, I managed to make it up to London, but only at the last minute. I was basically, this is a follow-on from yes, the day before, or the night before, when my partner just, like, I just don't understand my partner. I don't understand. You know, he puts so much into, you've got to use the name of our Heavenly Father and all this, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh, call on Yahweh's name. Um, and he gets quite aggressive about it. Like in McDonald's, in Trafalgar Square, people are looking over at us, going up on the train. He's getting really intense. Now, I can understand when he gets, like, intense about you know I've, I've tried to get through to people but now it's becoming a thing of this stuff started long before I was with you it was with your sisters I'm like no it no it did not no it did not the things that have been happening to me are off the scale oh but you know you've got to look at your medical records what your sisters my sisters said one thing one thing when I attempted suicide once and all this demented behavior from everyone around me because this thing does include the authorities because they said my partner was abusing me they said it yeah everyone is using everyone they're behaving like little children in a playground but these are not just, these are war crimes. These are crimes against humanity, my sovereignty under common law, right? Let's forget about what, okay, all this praying and going to the Bible is all I've done ever since I've been with my partner for the past eight years. I have had nothing but torture, persecution. Okay, yes, our Saviour said, this is what will happen to you. Remember, they hated me before they hated you. Yes, I know that. But I am not superwoman. It's no good having a relationship with someone who is... It's, I, I'm, getting, I, I, I'm losing it with him because he's causing me so much pain now. More pain. And then he... I mean... I've got every reason to be upset because of what it keeps being done to me and this landlady, this demented mental case, I've opened my suitcases. She hasn't been arrested, but this is the second time now she's committed a criminal offence, which is up to two years in prison. You saw the notice I held up in my last video. Yes. And police turning up for a civil matter. You know, she's just as mental and demented as the rest of them. Despite the fact that she's an 85-year-old retired matron. And I am not safe to go back to the property. Because as my partner said to Monique at the hub. And we know what Monique has done to me. And she knows about my YouTube channel. Suddenly, I'm. Uh, she tells my partner she's got a soft spot for me, and yet she told an old woman who was telling her that I was not a problem in the house at Pevensey Road to leave her alone. And suddenly, she's got a soft spot for me. Suddenly, she's concerned about me. Yes, because the narcissists know when they have done so much damage... They've done years of damage and now I'm being one of the brave ones to call it out. 
I mean, I'm I'm just sick of it. Well, but I'm sick of it. It's it's no good, Darren. It's no good. It's no good uh, getting really angry at me when I don't talk to you like that. I apologise. Where's your humility? A man of Yahweh. You keep, you're getting aggressive at me, telling me to use the name of Yahweh, but you're getting aggressive at me. Where's the comfort? Where's the compassion? I'm, I'm, I'm as much a sinner as every other human being on this planet. I'm not perfect. And I can't do this. I'm not superwoman. I have been tortured so much. I'm thinking, my mother's friend said to me when she was dying of cancer, you can't be superwoman. That's when it all started. Yes, you're right. But why, for the life of Michael, it can't your parents just say, you know, how... How are you? How is she? No for happy 40th birthday, nothing. And then you've got that demented school teacher in, in the property that I've been basically criminally bullied out of. And I'm still waiting for the judge to serve um, an injunction and a possession order and all um, bailiffs and all that and whatever they need to do. You know, I have been self-funding these, these two hotels for nearly four weeks now. And I've spent thousands of pounds of back pip on these hotels. The number of holidays abroad I could have had with all that back pip. I was once a paid carer and I've never worked so hard in my life. So hard. My life was easy when I lived at home and I worked did paid work as a carer, and I was getting bullied back then. But nobody knew about my suicidal feelings back then, over 20 years ago. No. But I've had my early midlife crisis. I've cried out for help. I've been beaten, assaulted and abused by the demented psychopaths in this town. But thankfully, there is someone in the forum... Nope. Actually, I'm not going to say. There is someone from Eastbourne who wants to set up a community for people like me who've had enough. In Because he is a brave man. He's let me know that he's been beaten with batons for protecting Tommy Robinson who, surprise, surprise, has now been arrested by the establishment. Cowards, 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 cowards. At the rally yesterday, as Mr Inman said, this is for all you brave lions and lionesses, and I'm one of them. And I tell you what, there are a few people in this town who are really showing their true colours. Thank you very much, Chantel. I I I don't care what David said. You know, you 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 know. You 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 give yourself. You all give yourselves away. You're no different to this landlady. No different. All this hypocrisy. You're doing exactly the same thing on your Facebook wall that I'm doing, except I'm calling the names out. And what has been done to me are war crimes, a hangable offence under Nuremberg Treaty. Oh, but then you say. Are you okay, Bryony? Under the picture of the bruises, yeah? And you make a video because apparently people at Matthew 25 are saying you've got a bad name. Your bad news. I'm not going to comment. I'm only, I have no idea whether you or David is lying. But you're both giving very different accounts about each other. And I find it very worrying because it means one of you is lying. But some of what David said is true because you've just messaged me and revealed it to me. Oh, and thanks also for criticising me for the pip. Because you sound exactly like that red-haired witch that was in Greg's, the bakery. By the way, folks, welcome to Eastbourne. This is not just a lefty loony town. There, I've spent most of my life down here. 
and all the rudeness that Eastbourne is notorious for. It's only since I went into the supported accommodation that I learnt just how many mentally ill people there are in this town. And that includes the people, predominantly, that run the town. Yes, there's a Masonic Lodge in this town. Just ask Jeff Mealing, do the research. I worked with a Freemason and I had to find out the hard way that they are practising Luciferians, i.e. Satanists. I woke up eight years ago. My part, I was with my partner the whole time that I woke up. He took me to the name of Yahweh. His friend, his Sikh turned... Um, evangelist Christian friend uh, Gurmit said oh you, you, you're the one who, who made Darren say Yahweh did Darren say anything? no I didn't say anything either I just let, I let them speak I let them speak, let them speak because the truth will reveal itself anyway, the truth shall be revealed to me and it is gradually bit by bit by bit by bit by bit and every day that I stay alive that is my testimony that is a sign of my strength as a lioness Tommy Robinson is a lion he's in a cell right now police cell and heaven knows what's going through his mind but he's a fighter the difference is he's a man I'm a female there is a difference when it comes to, obviously, uh, when you're a vulnerable woman, of course. But Because his life was put in danger by the establishment being put in prison. They tried to do the same to me because I went up speechy head suicidal. You really won't want to do this to me now, though. I'll tell you why, Eastbourne. It's the police watch my videos. PC EB411 told me that yeah it's on youtube they watch my videos they beat me they yeah thanks a lot shani i'm not surprised people are attacking you because you've just shown me your true colors if you criticize people if you invalidate people but you're all in airy fairy land and you finish it up with that passive aggressive covert narcissistic kiss 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 <sighs> all patronizing <laughs> bullshit this is what's going to happen because you know we can't be nice ladies forever we can't there's only much so much shit i can take i have had so much hell happen to me i've had <laughs> i put someone in prison and on a sex offenders register with no help from anyone i i had a bastard creep abuse me when my mother was dying well actually he waited till after my mother's funeral then he had had his way with me and then he literally grabbed me and threw me out and name called because he had used me he did this to another vulnerable woman in this town it's a very small town and she happens to be a friend of my partner's friend from one of his churches yes yes it is very common my late mother's friend my late mother would be 86 she was an amazing person she she spoke out she was criticized she traveled the world people on the on the quiet you know gave her the thumbs up and then but in front of everyone criticised her in, in the public domain but it's the opposite for me I think I'm sort of being I'm getting the attacks behind my back which is why I found out from this person that goes to Matthew 25 but anyway but the people Eastbourne People's Assembly they bullied me that lady and her mother who pretended to support me was worked for the social services. She was a witness to me being attacked at Belmore Road. She emailed the local MP, then she turned on me. And she should have known that I wasn't well. I apologised 
for sort of attacking her on one of my videos but that's because my of what was being done to me and my partner's friend was abusing me so there are a lot of people when they know that you're vulnerable and honest and sweet and lovely it's an endless endless but they're all going to believe me their time is coming and it will be sooner rather than later and they're going to get a very nasty shock, the ones that choose to remain the way they are and remain to stay asleep. But I'm glad I finally found someone who wants to set up a community because I said, as long as I'm still alive, as long as I haven't killed myself, I will speak out on the streets of Eastbourne. I will. I've been, I've had my, like Tommy Robinson, I've had my reputation publicly besmirched. All that compensation I am due, all that pip that thousands of pounds of your taxpayers' money to put me up in these hell holes. And I am I'm speaking on behalf of like anybody in my position, your children, your children's children, and these cowards, this elderly landlady who's a retired matron, and that old man at that house that I have been illegally uh, bullied out of in a suicidal state I haven't found it's like when I was beaten out of my brand new flat as a response to my father's death I did the same thing when my mother was dying of cancer everybody who knows anything in this town knows that supported accommodation is a scam it's a scam and if the elite in this town, the filthy, dirty, criminal scumbags that are running this country, they're, they're not running it, we don't have a government. As Mr Ingman, I tell you what, it was such a um, an honour to shake hands with Paul Thorpe yesterday. Yesterday, well, yesterday is, is now um, the day before that, but because it's now coming up to 4am, but Paul Thorpe, uh, he's like a bit of a celebrity now, because he was like signing someone's autograph at the rally in London. But they, they are getting a name for themselves, but it, they need to, because we need big names. I could not say what I, I did not say a word to Paul Thorpe. That is a sign of mind control programming. Yeah, this is what they're trained in. Maybe that's why Chantal is covered in bloody butterflies all the time. Maybe she's had MK Ultra. I mean, I'm half laughing, but I'm not. I'm only half joking because, you know, my guess is as good as anyone else's here. But she's really away with the fairies. She's in cloud cuckoo land, airy fairy. I'm speaking the truth as coherently as I possibly can. I mean, I say I've actually seen fairies and, you know, <laughs> apparitions from the dark side because I know all about that stuff. I mean, there's a, there's my, mid, my American Midwestern friend, bless him, who loves Adamant. He's got, he's got a group. He's got a group. I think he, Bless him. I mean, sorry, Ray, if you can see this. Don't take this the wrong way. But you put up a post. I mean, you you live in you know you live in Saint, you know Saint Louis in Missouri, and you're like putting a post up saying about you know when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, which was two days before my partner was born on the twentieth of July, nineteen sixty nine. They've even made a movie that's telling you. They recently, it's on at the cinema, telling you <laughs> that how it was staged. It was all, no man has been on the moon. It's a lie, like everything else. Um, I mean, there's footage on YouTube of, of Buzz, not Buzz Light, were you? Buzz Aldrinum, or whatever his name is, saying to a little girl that no one's been to the moon and he let slip, you know? So 
they're paid actors. <laughs> uh, no offence, Ray, but it's just like, uh, I felt bad. Um, I put that message on your post and I was doing it in a suicidal state. Because I, I, I've just been up to London to the to that there have been people coming over from different parts of the world for the Freedom Rally, people from all ethnicities, an amazing Iranian lady who is fighting against the extremism of Iran, and she said, you know, this is about being British, British coming together. Now, you know, I can believe, you know, there are people from Islamic countries who are saying that extremism is real and it's da a danger to our culture, to being British, etc., etc. My partner said it will be the last enemy in the last days, according to scripture. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm, to be perfectly honest with you, whilst I will never, ever bow down to the enemy, Hushatan, Satan, i.e. Satan. Um, you know, I'll never be one of those. I use Yahuwah's name because it, I... But I have been feeling, like, angry towards my partner, feeling like he's controlling me to use his name, and he needs to understand why... You know, it's no different to wiping me with a wet wipe and telling me to go and wash my hands. I try to be patient because I myself have OCD and I can be a little controlling. But I need sympathy and I have not had a phone call or message or anything from his parents. And when you tell your partner, when you scream down the phone, prosecute me when I've literally just said in distress I want to message your parents I've slept rough I've I've got no one to turn to I've got my worst nightmare my childhood nightmare came true I've got two parents who have died they're saying take their things or they'll be disposed of Social services, I've recorded the phone call where they've said that Daphne from the EDS does not exist. I've got had two support workers close my case. I don't drink, I don't take drugs. This is raw pain, raw pain. Chantelle has not got a bloody clue. She even admitted in a video where she's been attacked by others for how she's treated them. She hasn't been a great mother. She doesn't receive pip. Oh, whoopee do. But so how do you you go to the food stops but you to, to get free food, but you're criticizing criticizing everyone else for doing what you're doing. You're talking about how rude people have treated. What if I was to criticize you? You know, to say, oh, you shouldn't moan about the people, the prof the mental health professionals. I haven't done that. You don't like seeing photographs of bruises of police that have beat, beaten me and committed crimes against me and you're telling me to think of their families. Well, I tell you what, why don't you go to the Freedom Rally, say over the microphone, we should all think of poor Wayne Cousins and his family. Yeah, the police officer that raped and murdered Sarah Everard. I actually spoke to someone who at the rally yesterday who had a T-shirt with a picture uh you know supporting sarah everard uh and i tell you what you know you just you're just taking the piss you know you really are it's just, it's just I, I i can't i'm sorry but i can't hold this in anymore i can't hold it in and uh you, you know i what what if shani that nurse that forcibly injected me what if that, this is just before COVID, right? Because one of the least of leaflets that they were handing out at the Freedom Rally was to do with the mass genocide, yeah? And the, vac the dangerous vaccines, yeah? Well, what if there had been a lethal poison? Because 
you know, there's already been a nurse that's been imprisoned for allegedly murdering babies. What if Shani, she illegally, forcibly injected me as a direct response to me demanding to have my phone to call the police over possessions of mine? She didn't have to do that. She acted on her own will. She didn't have a written consent from me. And that is a hangable offence under Nuremberg trials. And if you think I'm a bad person for saying this, that makes you complicit. Because you're not thinking of your four children, Chantelle. I didn't know you had four children. You've just told me that. You're not thinking of them. You're not thinking of me. You're not thinking of our freedoms, which are gradually... Well, it's already happened. All those murders, that mass genocide, all this corruption is because of people like you that we are staying enslaved and that I am suffering torture in this hotel room that I have been self-funding for four weeks. This is being done to me because there are people afraid because these narcissists, these psychopaths and their crimes, they've got so much to hide. The longer I stay alive and the more I speak out, the more that I'm going to be smiled on, okay? Those who don't want to know, who don't want to speak out, who want to silence us, they're the ones who are going to get it really bad, okay? Because I should be supported. I'm not being, I'm not getting compassion from my partner. He is throwing his, he should have had a go at those people, at the landlady, and the very pers people who called him a C-U-N-T. The people that called him a C-U-N-T were the police thug that beat me. Yes, the police thug that verbally abused and beat me decided to also, without having met my partner, verbally abuse him to my face. They are recruiting actual convicted criminals into the UK police force. And if you don't believe me, watch Crime Bodge on YouTube because it's all there. We've already had one rape and murder. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. What have I got to do to get through to you idiots out there? Oh, tea and cakes. Go for a walk. Go and flutter by. Oh, how old are you? You're an adult. My God, I've just had an 85-year-old retired matron act like a, like a little toddler, like a badly behaved child, even after I warned her that she would be committing a crime against me. But she hasn't been arrested. She's no different to these... This is why she, she said, without even having met me, the nutcase rang me up to say that she'd help me write a book. I'd never met the woman before. I don't know if she's, she actually knows the people from Justin, from Charles Lucas Property Management, or if there's just been a lot of this going on, because there is a lot of it in this town. And Chantel, you've proved that. Matthew 25, Eastbourne P People's Assembly, that demented old man, the woman who, the woman whose husband started having a go at me and saying that I fancied my partner's friend Charlie. Even he was starting to act mental. And Darren's like, oh, well, he's got his issues. Yes, so have I. So have you, Darren. But I don't go around. But there's just so much of it in this town. And I fucking had enough of it. You don't like me swearing, Darren. You don't like me saying fart. But you want me to use Yahuwah's name whilst you're getting aggressive at me. We need to use Yahuwah's name and you don't want me saying this stuff on YouTube. Well then understand because your girlfriend right now is suicidal again. What are you going to do? Say to your parents, oh she's causing me so much stress. You took the caring role. I didn't want you to be my carer. I said to your father, your father said to me at the Saffron. That place that they rebadged where they're abusing people. The place that the police beat me out of and sacked the care coordinator and sacked the drunk night porter. Yeah, 
And everybody knew, the Trestle Trust, everyone knows, there was an online petition, yeah, the Saffron. Your father said to me at the Saffron eight years ago, how do you feel about him being in a caring role for you? I never saw him again. I was so embarrassed. I, I, I said, you must think I'm a monster. I didn't ask for him to be my carer. And he said, I, d I don't understand. I don't understand. And at Care for the Carers, they said to you in front of me that, that, that people would see your behaviour as emotional abuse. I couldn't see the wood through the trees because for so long, you, do, my partner, Darren, you just walk into all my problems. You walk into, like, what the hell is this? The Food Bank Advocate diagnosed the OCD. It hasn't been officially diagnosed, but she and her husband said they thought that you were abusing me when they were physically and mentally abusing me at the psychiatric unit. And by the way, that horrible old man at the house that I've just been kicked out of, I move in there and he shows me articles, online articles, saying that now psychiatric patients are being raped. Yes. So the police are not just raping vulnerable people, psychiatric staff. Yes, we've got psychopaths everywhere in all the institutions. You're not safe anywhere. I've got a school teacher, a school teacher. Look up my video titled Rat and School Teacher Attacking Me and My Partner. Words to that effect. And the, the foul language that's coming out of her mouth. And I have kept the text message from the landlady saying it's okay for a school teacher to smoke cannabis. No, it's not. It's up to five years in jail. It's up to two years in jail for what the landlady has done to me. Maybe it'd be manslaughter if she pushes me to suicide because I shouldn't be in this position right now. But she's probably done this to many, many others. In fact, I'm more than certain of that. Yes, Ratton School that already had a school teacher mentioned in the Argus as having raped a 14 year old, a paedophile Ratton school teacher. And now I've had a school teacher attack me and my partner. Police do nothing. As you got to wake up, folks. Because if you're not going to listen to me, if you're not going to listen to Tommy Robertson, you're all going to end up mentally demented if you're not already all the let this this entire country not just eastbourne this entire country has gone the whole world has gone clown world they're going to try and assassinate tommy robinson they're going to do to him what they've just tried to do to donald trump but anyway there we go but it's no surprise to me that he's just been arrested because it's exactly what I expect. Everything is orchestrated. And Chantel, the other great mental demented thing that you said to me on Facebook, it was either on my wall, a couple of messages have been deleted because Catherine, who is actually genuine, who's actually supported me, Interestingly, Catherine from Matthew 25, who told you, Chantel, to leave it alone because you wanted to report me to the authorities for showing those photographs because those thugs, that mental health nurse and that police officer with all his medals mentioned in the Herald that slandered me that I came close to suing along with the help of the legal ombudsman, yeah? Funny, isn't it, how, Chant how Catherine's comment to me has been deleted and your response to her was also, I was going to respond to Catherine because I didn't realise it was her because she had a, she, her name would said K. I I didn't realise it was Catherine. I had a good feeling about Catherine because I'm... I, I get a feel for people. First impressions tell me everything. They tell me whether someone's going to be a covert narcissist or fakey, fakey, fakey. I see right through it. But Catherine, I knew immediately. 
and she affirmed everything that I was saying and she said what had happened to her with her abusive husband, how she missed the rally, um, children's children's rights because her, her children went into care and you still come on to defend what you're saying you're attacking me I have not come on to you don't like seeing photographs of police bruises of what's been done to me tough and you had the nerve if you had said over the microphone at the freedom rally exactly what you've said to me on Facebook people would have laughed at you up to a million people would have laughed at you yesterday for saying wait for it that speaking the truth will get your freedoms taken from you. <laughs> You're the reason why people are demented and stay enslaved and in chains and in bondage. Because I'm going nuts here. I have to speak right now. They want me to go nuts so they can say, oh, see, I told you Bryony was a mental case. Yeah, they say I'm full of bullshit. Look what's been done to Tommy Robinson. He's the only person who's got a pair of balls. He's the only real man. There are too many of these everywhere, all around me. That's why I'm not interested in men. <laughs> I've been looking for real people since before I was even born, wherever, you know, my, my late mother's friend's husband... I don't know if he's alive now, but he held me when I was a few days old and he said, you've been here before. Because I was always one of those babies, those little ones. I wasn't like other babies. I wasn't like other children. I had a heightened awareness. That's why I've always been different. I've always been on the ball. I choose to be alone because I choose my own company. I don't like being around people because I'm looking for authenticity and it's virtually impossible to find. So it doesn't surprise me that Catherine's comment has suddenly disappeared under those photographs of the bruises on Facebook that you don't like seeing, but you've got contacts. How come, Chantelle, that you've got a business... Yeah, that you network in the town, that you're in, not being funny, I'm, I'm, I know, try and calm down a bit. But how is it that you're in so much physical pain, right? You walk with physical pain, but you somehow manage to climb up the cliffs. Suicidal on Beachy Head and you're criticising me. David is right because he said that you criticised him for doing the same thing that you were doing, posting pictures of... It's just not normal. None of this is normal. And by the way, David's home, his tiny hovel, his square of a home is not legal. And it's not under the scheme of small housing. It's He's got a rogue landlord and I do believe him because his, the pastor's wife apparently and the neighbours are now coming round to his way of thinking. That I do believe because I've seen it for myself. It's not legal. You think that it's okay to have a square with no windows, no vents against health and safety, but he's got a door he can open. That square is the size of a shed. It's not big enough for a child, let alone a man in his 60s. I mean, I just can't, I can't believe the, the lunacy that you're coming out with. You said you go to the Salvation Army to use the shower. You 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 said, "Oh, David gets free food." Well, you get free food from the local charities. Why are you criticizing us? So I'm sorry, but without actually repeating the things that David said about you, it. I mean, David could be lying, but. Since you've said those horrendous things to me, to my face on Facebook, after saying, are you okay, hun? And I knew there was something not right because I thought that time when you text me to say, PC Franklin Lester and Shawnee are nice people. Hmm. 
when I had already told you about the crimes committed by them. I recorded a criminal on a tag threatening to beat me senseless. Do you want me to play it again for you? Because you never know, I never know when my last dying breath will be because I'm still battling suicidal feelings. I'll just go and get it. Hang on. Right. I managed to retrieve this because um, I might need it for the court hearing, but I'm still in a very, very suicidal state. Um, so... Isn't it funny how PC Franklin Lester decided to take this recording for me after the torture that he put me through? You see, the thing is, the police breached GDPR because I was told by that ex-big CEO turned um, mental health operative in, from the crisis team um, I've forgotten what his name is, but um, he came over here from a, a, an African country and um, so he used to be a CEO of something in an African country and suddenly he's got a job in something he knows nothing about. Absolutely nothing, mental health. They're all just um, paid actors. But he actually said to me that basically the police would breach GDPR. The thugs are watching me now. The criminals are watching me. But so PC Franklin Lester, if if, if you want to watch this, by all means. I mean, your colleagues told me you watch. You, you all you all know about my. I mean, Josh Babarundi, OBE knows about my YouTube channel. He didn't formally introduce himself and say, "How can I help you?" No, <laughs> that's what he's paid to do: serve us, the people. Um, he ignored an online application where I was basically crying out for help. Um, here is the recording of me. You can't hear my fear, but I'm locked in the bathroom, terrified for my life. And a raging alcoholic on a tag is threatening to beat me senseless. I even recorded the company who put her on a tag. But this demented loony landlady thinks I'm a criminal. Yeah, because I seem like a very dangerous person. Um, just like most normal people, I have a mental breakdown when I've had a lot of trauma. And I'm only human. And I get very angry when someone is being antisocial in my home. And if they film it and they're smiling because they've, they've managed to rile me up, that is what the tenant, that this landlady is saying it's fine for her to take drugs. That's for the judge. Because if I do kill myself, folks, you know what to do because the evidence is here. Because I don't, can't guarantee that I'm not just going to suddenly top myself. But I want the evidence out there. This Fruit Loop, who li who's made up her own Jackanory. I mean, my partner said to Monique at the hub, the housing hub, because she's left Eastbourne Borough Council and suddenly I'm her favourite person or whatever. He said, you know, she's that I'm not safe to go back to the property because we don't know if she's cut off the energy supply. No, we don't. She threatened to cut off the gas when, I, when she put her hand on me here, common assault. She, she just, she doesn't even know what the hell she's saying or doing. She gets, she's taken dates that I've given and twisted it. She, she actually said she put her hand here. You know, she had a, the woman had a fall the other day. Who, she needs someone to run her business for her. But either way, she has gone out of her way as a calculating dangerous evil individual. Anyway, I'll play that. This, this is what, this is what. This is the recording of the raging alcoholic on a tag threatening to beat me senseless at 3am. Three hours later, the investigating officer for her offences turns up at 6am. I've had no sleep. 
Do you know what they did? They arrested me in my nightwear. I've got OCD, crippling OCD. Yes. They took me in a Serco truck. It's human trafficking. This is globalised human trafficking. Look up Serco. This is how they're getting their dirty, filthy pensions. Crimes against you, the people. And believe me, whether it's in this world or the next world, it is written. It is written that they will. There will be justice served on their heads. So this is what I had to endure because I was attacked to the point where I thought I'd be killed one time when I was in the bath. This is me ringing 999. I'm full of bullshit, aren't I? She, yes, but I've just gone into the bathroom to have a bath and she's threatened to beat me up. Sergeant Simmons told me I to purchase this. I function? She, I, I've just gone upstairs to go into the bathroom. Her partner, um, she's got a man in her room who came into my room. I'm not feeling safe for crying out loud. I've, I've locked myself in the bathroom. I've just come up to have a bath. Sergeant Simmons told me to purchase this. Then they arrested me for it. She had them wrapped around her fingers because she's a criminal. I just recorded it. I've just come up here to have a bath. That's the criminal justice system. I can't do 
do this? How can I do? How can I? Be, how, am I how am I supposed to come up with this in my own? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm in the bathroom. I'm, I'm trying to keep my voice down. I'm in the. You can't just hear it. On the door. I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the you bathroom. can't hear it. Someone's banging. But she kicked the door. I can't put up with this. A demented, raging alcoholic. I think it's the one in room five. Is thumping. Oh, look, I'm, I, I said, I said to next door that if I felt unsafe, that I would, I would use my panic alarm. Yes. Yes. So I've got what someone heard from room five, thump, heard from, from room five, five. There's an investigation over her assault. She's thumping the bathroom. I've come in here to have a bath. Stop banging! She break, someone's banging the bathroom door. Someone's just, someone's just kicked, someone's just banged the bathroom door. You're gonna to have to get the. You're gonna to have to get someone out here now. You're gonna to have to get someone out here now because I'm. I'm being terrorised. Yes. Someone's just kicked the bathroom door. Can you please get? That's the one I that was mentioned in the BBC News the as mugging the elderly for a second she's, she's time with her outside. mother. Sherelle Clark and Dion now Clark. Fast. Get someone here now fast, please, please. And I recorded I her and the neighbours supporting me. I've got serious I evidence on here, criminal here evidence. Fast. Me when I need 
Can you hear the fear in my voice? My 999 call. Sussex police, no, I don't do. I don't. Hope you're watching, Chantel. I need to think of their families. They tried to get me in prison. I've been ignoring her. Franklin Lester, with his medals, tried to get me in prison over a welfare check on Beachy Head. The legal ombudsman tried to get me compensation. From the corrupt law firm. That's anxiety, that's trauma. (sighs) It's a miracle, everything I've survived. It's a miracle. (sighs) You coward. Okay, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, Someone kicked, someone banged the door. I don't know. I don't know who that was, but the threat, but the threat was from Carly Bishop. Human trafficking. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So I've met victims of satanic ritual abuse as well. Ongoing bullying, name calling, threatening behaviour. Alleged. Um, the one in room five. I don't know if she, she was. I can believe bang, anything. They, they will bang and thump. What they've done to the me. Five I can me believe on the anything. Of March. I've just come up here quietly to, to have quietly have a bath because it's taken me a long time to I've done some washing and Council accommodation. More like a women's prison? Couldn't make this up. I'd love to meet Tommy Robinson.
the last one I won called Handler was it because it's all ongoing I told someone on the street about this and, and I got her to come in with me because she well she did uh, yeah that's Juliet Rawson thank you Juliet you work, for, you work for St Mary's House. She, she emailed the local MP, this witness, who worked for social services. She just got involved and I asked her... And then le left me high and dry and used the system to abuse me when she'd had enough. I've been, I've been escalating complaints to 101 about how she's t locked me out. She's she's done all these other little things, switched the lights off while I've been in the toilet, terrorising me in my own home, it's calling me an effing dosser, you effing nutcase, you nutbag, on and on and on and on. I told her, I even told her. I've had a middle class up the rip ring, very sheltered, never known Thank anything you. Can I, like can I just it. Actually get, can I actually record you saying that you heard, you heard the banging? Well, I'll, I'll put it on my report. Thank you. Uh, what was I recorded? Thank you very much. I, 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 cause, right. cause, That's yeah. the 999 call handler. Oh, no, they recorded, yeah. That he it's, heard her bang the door. Yeah. You just heard the 999 call hat on, on loudspeaker affirm me by saying that he heard the criminal licensee on a tag threaten to beat me senseless. He heard her bang the door. Carly Bishop, right? The, people, the company who put her on a tag told me to make notes and to record everything. I recorded that. I recorded... Her friend, who was mentioned in the national BBC News, who was a few months later, yeah, mentioned in the national BBC News as mugging the elderly with her mother for a second time. The council and Brighton Housing Trust were protecting that criminal who was off her head on crack cocaine. You might think, how the hell, Bryony, did you manage to survive that? I was in constant fight or flight PTSD. This is human trafficking. One of the women who was later put in that accommodation is a victim, child victim of the Tavistock Institute of Human Relations. We're talking satanic ritual abuse that she may not be aware of because it's mind control, but Jeanette Archer knows all about it. Adamant knows all about it. Because they're MK Ultra military mind control victims. Yes, what I'm saying is very dangerous because I'm telling the truth. Tommy Robinson is putting his lives on the line for all you lot out there. All of you, just like Donald Trump. At least now I know where I'm going when I die. But PC Scott Franklin Lester, I need to think of his family. Are you kidding? These people have pushed me to suicide. I'm suicidal now. They have been, they are choosing to sell their souls on their oaths. These are crimes against humanity. Sergeant Simmons told me to pick, purchase a dictaphone and I was arrested because this Carly Bishop that you've just heard threatening to beat me senseless called the police and said, she's recording us which I wasn't, I, well, it's nobody's business if I do, but Sergeant Simmons told me to purchase this, 
to record antisocial behaviour in the house. And they illegally arrested me for it. They decide when these demented psychopaths decide that when a school teacher on YouTube, which you can see for yourself, is attacking me and my partner in my home, in a house share, calling my partner a C word, that's a civil matter. So how did the school teacher tenant manage to get um what was his name? I've, I've forgotten his number now. A, was it AE001? PC AE001? To come out, a police officer, to tell me she doesn't want to write you a note. That's a civil matter. The school teacher doesn't want to write you a note. Boo hoo. Oh dear, get the wet, wet get, get the tissues and the nappies out. Oh dear. Oh, boo hoo. Honestly. And then she went on to ignore a police officer's caution and attack us. And in her teacher's notes, Dion Markland is saying how she self-harms and she's lonely. Because she left her notes lying around for anyone to read on the bookshelf. So, of course, I had a little nose and I thought, hmm. You couldn't make it up. The teacher's regulation authority. I mean, I mean, it... This private house share that I've just been bullied out of and the landlady should be arrested, leaving me suicidal. The judge, the courts, the law is on my side, but they're not arresting her. They're going to do something about it. But this could lead to manslaughter because I'm in a suicidal state right now. I've just survived all of this. I recorded the neighbours supporting me, elderly neighbours I recorded supporting me, whilst Sherelle Clark he was actually mugging the elderly. And she was mentioned in the BBC News. I am definitely my mother's daughter. Because, technically speaking, I should be lying in a ditch. My mother would be 86 she cried for me because she thought they were supporting me. She was a, the bravest woman you could ever meet. My mother was middle, very, very middle class. She had a privileged upbringing, but she was on the same level as Tommy Robinson. And even though I've given up astrology because it's pagan and the Bible condemns it, and it is witchcraft, trust me, I know. I studied it when I was a child. But she was born in the same week as Tommy Robinson. And that makes a lot of sense because they were born in the week of independence. Tommy Robinson was born the same year as me. But he was born in the same week as my mother. And they're very, very brave people, people born in that week. I know I shouldn't give attention to it. I should be giving attention to Yahweh. I'm not into religion, I'm not into the words of man, I'm into truth of our creator. But I don't like being manipulated and this is why I'm very upset with my partner because I'm very reluctant to use the name of our Heavenly Father because that's I'm feeling very controlled because that's what my partner wants me to focus on, the name of our Heavenly Father. And he got quite aggressive about it. And I'm in a very dark place. But can you believe it that three hours after I recorded this criminal on a tag threatening to beat me up, that PC Scott Franklin Lester Senior... Uh, I said, thank goodness you're here. And he said, I have a warrant for your arrest. He didn't have a warrant. A warrant has a wet ink signature under common law. You don't hold up your phone and say, I've got a warrant for your arrest. But they did. And the legal ombudsman tried to get me compensation for the bent solicitor from a law firm that I paid 90 quid to previously. And the guy that, that refused to compensate me for the fact that this Bent's so, uh, 
solicitor, she was initially on my side because she said, how can a welfare check turn into you being prosecuted, um, uh, arrested for assault? So she told me to, to, to uh, say that I was defending myself, which I was, because I did it, you know, they, they assaulted me, which they love to do. I don't know, I've been thrown on the ground by a firearms officer and bruised and handcuffed because the council decided to discharge duty to me because I showed disgusting photographs of a place you wouldn't want to put a rat in. It was that filthy. This is like something out of Dickens' times, but worse. I The, the, the disgusting things that I took pictures of and I, I showed photographs of actual bed bugs crawling on me in a bed that already had blood-stained, dirty bedding, and the council gave me that, and because I complained, they made me street homeless. Yes, this has been more than an eye-opener. I have never in my life known anything like it. So, Paul Thorpe, I really want you to hear and see this, because I was all smiles when I shook your hand, but I felt intimidated because you... Not intimidated, as in, you know, because you you were suddenly like a celebrity. And I was programmed to... And this is the one time I should be opening my mouth and I couldn't. Um, but I, I, as I said, I it was a very tense situation with my partner going up to London, battling suicidal feelings, and I'm back into that. It's nearly 5am, I've got a headache. Um... Yeah, but anyway, I hope you get this. Um, I've said everything I want to say. This has been... <laughs> I wanted this to be like 10 minutes long and it's been over an hour. <sighs> this this is this is, this is is the result of the torture that this, they're doing to vulnerable people like me. It, it's horrific. I've had... Uh, I'm a decent human being. I'm a... Uh, you know... I, my partner encouraged me to give sandwiches and loose change to homeless people on the street when I've been using my last pennies to get up there. And I didn't say, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. And I didn't protest. There was a time when I would have done. Um, but I, I just somehow feel that that is what our Heavenly Father wants me to do. But I don't want to be emotionally abused I, I, it's out of order I know when I'm bit when when behavior is out of order his parents haven't asked me if I'm okay I've got no friends no support network social services don't want to know support workers closing cases my partner is just I've had to somehow try and forgive him for leaving me to sleep rough he said he couldn't cope but there's no excuse as to why his parents just can't say, how are you? Like, like what, what, what is... It's not fair. It, it's not on. It, it, where is the... I'm sick of this narcissism. I'm just sick of it. And I, I in, per, in all honesty, I don't think anything is going to change. I'm losing faith. I'm losing... Uh, I've been through so much. Look, I've stabbed myself through the arm with a six-inch knife. See, the police officer who had initially mocked me was then when he when I showed him what I did to myself in 2018, he went as white as a sheet and he said you could have the, the knife went right through my arm. He said you could have severed an artery. This is what happens when you don't get the help. I had a Scottish 85 year old woman crying to me, saying to me. Eight years ago, before all of this started, she said, this is how some people end up as murderers because she was caring for her son and she had osteoporosis in her hands and the tears rolled down her face as she was crying, this Scottish lady. And I thought, she's right. Now, I would never, of course, I would never kill someone, but at the end of the day, we're all human, right? We're all human. We all have a, if you, this narcissistic abuse, it, it, narcissistic abuse 
from all angles is basically that's what gang stalking is. It's, it is totally demonic. However you want to, whatever words you want to use, it is what it is, called spade a spade. And I have never in my life known anything like it. You, you've got the covert ones, that the do-gooders, and they are just as dangerous as the overt ones. Anyway, I'm done. But, Paul, I hope you get to see this. I don't know if you will. <sighs> I'm I I'm in a really 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 bad way, but I somehow I hope that you do, and I've got so much respect for you guys, and I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket, but because everyone should come together, but I just don't see I just I'm losing I I just I'm at the end I'm seriously I can't do this anymore, I'm done with it, I'm sick of the truth is you. You know, I've there are there are prolific people in the truthers community who've turned out to be nasty pieces of work. It's not just me saying that, because I've, I've reached out to people on social media. I've said I don't understand this person. Um, I would, and I'm not going to mention any names, but you just oh, it's just one great big cesspit. This country's finished. We're all doomed, but that's up to the choice of the people at the end of the day. You, you can't have some people doing what we're doing and the rest just you can't be bothered.